Assalamu alaikum. This is Ikhwani, the English teacher. I hope every student is happy. Good morning. Today, we are going to master uh, a crossword puzzle. But first, we're going to ask ourselves how to solve a crossword puzzle. But first, before we answer how to solve a crossword puzzle, what do you think a crossword puzzle is? A crossword puzzle can help improve your mind, self-control, language skills, and confidence. Okay, let's take a look at this one. We see here, step one. We go across this number one and then down. But before we answer, let's go back to our page 99. You see your page 99, you have what? You have what? You have this lesson. You have this lesson itself. Sorry, 99. You have this lesson. Fine. When you open the page and you see this crossword, you need to find the answers of these areas. Fine. You need to find the answers of these areas. Right here, which is the across, and down here, which is the down, downward. So, if you want to find the answers of these empty areas or spaces, you have to go back to the vocabulary and memorize the words. If you don't memorize the vocabulary, it will be very difficult for you to answer and find the proper word filling all those areas. Okay, so first you need to know which word can really change this explanation or definition. When you find which word can really change the definition here, then normally it will be easy for you to fill right here. Okay, it will be very easy for you to fill right here. But if you don't know the definitions, word is that can change the definitions, how would you understand? How would you get those answers? Right, I'll give you a couple answers and I want you inshallah look the rest of the answers we'll give you seconds and then we'll go back to the rest of the answers but first let's together find one more answer here okay you you, you see how many uh, you you see how many uh, uh, empty areas you got here let's count you got uh, wait uh, sorry you got what one one and then two because we will start the down, the across. Three, four, five, and six. When you have this, you need which word can really fill here. Okay, to make it easy, this is an introductory crossword puzzle. We will work together. But the next thing, inshallah, I want you to do the whole crossword puzzles. But this will be you and me. We will work together. This must be the answers, right? This must be the answers. We have how many words here? Letters here. One. Okay, wait a second. Okay, we have how many? We get one. And then two. And then three. And then four. And then five. And then six. Okay, manifest. Then you need to fill this word, the area I told you in the first place. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. The, uh, the place. Okay, fine. Here it is. Manifest. It was six. All right? So we have to write the word here to fill this place. Fine. We'll go here. No, first let's uh, remove this and then write the word itself right here. Okay. You start with what? M. Okay. And then what? We, we count many, and then N, many, and then what? I, and then what? F, and then what? E, manifest, and then what? S, and then what? T, manifest. Okay, when you fill this, then the rest will be easy for you. We have done the first answer. And then let's go back to the second ones. But if you don't memorize the words in your book, 
you will, it will be very difficult for you to find the answers. You have to first find the meaning and memorize the vocabulary as a whole. Okay, let's go back the next ones. See, we have what? Clearly, extremely angry. Extremely angry. Which word can change the word, the definition extremely angry? What do you think? When you go back to the uh, vocabulary section of your book, you will see some pages, uh, or maybe if you look through the page, the answer. But today we will work together to find the proper answers. So here we got extremely angry. These are the answers. Extremely angry must be in, in, enraged. But let's see. These must be the answers. Okay. See, enraged. But let's count. Let's count, please. How many letters we have here? One, and then two, and then three, and then four, and then five, six, and seven. Enraged. So that word enraged must change the definition of these words. Okay. Let's go back here. Okay, enraged, extremely angry. The word extremely angry means enraged. The word extremely angry means enraged. All right, so we go back where? The puzzle, okay. Was it cross or down? It was across, and which, it was question five. It was what? Question five. So we will go question five, and then try to write the word enraged right here. But let's count how many we got here, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, seven words. So we will see if the word in rate can fill here. All right, let's go back and get the pen. But first we need to delete this. All right, so let's take a look at this one. We'll write here the word in rate. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. Let's take a look. In rate. Okay. Enraged, enraged, all right. See, fine. I think uh, the letters are not that much visible, but you can take advantage from my words, enraged. And this word was what? Manifest. When you hear my words, then you don't need to see the letters I wrote here due to the, uh, the interactive board. No problem. I hope you will see, inshallah. So, we have how many answers here? We get two answers. The two first words, the manifest and what? Enraged. Okay. And then we go back to our definitions, the, the across. Okay. They stepped uh, question three. All right. Let's go together. See, read this definition. Considered to be suitable as a marriage partner. Considered to be beautiful as a marriage partner. So, which word can change the definition here considered to be suitable as a marriage partner which word can change i already told you that this lesson we will work together okay fine let's go back to the answers the first two answers were what manifest and enraged okay let us highlight the two first we have done okay enraged and manifest but now we will go the word illegible Eligible can change the definition here. All right, students, you see? Okay, eligible. So was it across or down? It was what? It was across, not down. We will go then down when we finish the across part. Okay, considered to be suitable as a marriage partner. Which word can change? The word can change is nothing else, but what? Eligible. So we will count if eligible can really fill this it was question what it was four no sorry yeah it was five no it was eight sorry eight eligible then we write the word eligible here but first e right e no sorry sorry yes yes okay e and then what la and then what Ili, I, and then what? G, Iliji, and then what? I, and then what? B, and then what? Eligible. Sorry. E. Let's let's go back to. Let's go back to. Let's go back to it. Let's delete all together. One more time and see if we can find the answer. E, and then L, 
Eli, and then I. G Eli, G uh, Elijah, Ba. I think uh, yes, and this is the E, right? Eligible. I don't think you can see the handwriting here, but you can take advantage the sounds of my words. Eligible. So number eight can fill the word eligible. How many answers I have so far? I have three answers, which are the across part. And then we will move when we finish this section to the down part, inshallah. Okay, let's finish together. Let's see this word. A man who wants to get married to a particular woman. What do you think? A man who wants to get married to a particular woman. Which word can change? This is question nine. Think, please. I think it's a suitor. S U I T O R. Am I right? I think so. Let's go back here. Question nine. Fine. Question nine, question nine, question nine. Right here. You see? All right. Okay, my dear. Let's count as and then you. I T O R. Suitor. Right? You see? Okay, I want to challenge you, inshallah, the next classes. I want you to do and answer the whole crossword vessels. And inshallah, we will see together to find all answers on our WhatsApp group. If you can, if you, if, if you can answer also, uh, you can simply see the, uh, the comment down below on the YouTube. You can simply send your answers. And normally you can send my Gmail. I think everyone has my Gmail. Fine. So, uh, how many answers I have so far? I got what? One, and then what? Two, and then I have what? Three, and then I got four. Okay, let's go back. Which one? We will now move to the uh, down section. Alhamdulillah, we finish the across part. Let's see the down. Okay, dear. Do you see the word to have uh, the definition to have a sudden strong feeling of fear or worry and be, and, and be unable to think clearly or calmly or decide what to do? What do you think, please? To have a sudden strong feeling of fear or worry and be unable to think clearly or calm, calmly or decide what to do. If you don't memorize the words in your vocabulary section, it will be very, really challenging to find the answers. Right, I'm always advising you, dear, to memorize the word powers, the word powers of your book. We are now on page 99, right? On page 99. See, this is what? Question one. Yes, to have a sudden strong feeling of fear or worry and unable to think clearly or calmly to decide what to do. Fine. Uh, normally we uh, want to help each other to find answers because I told you that this lesson we will work together. The next lesson is not me, you, right? So uh, let's take a look. All right. Okay. Okay. Fine. This is the down. This is the down, down, downward part. Okay. The downward part. Okay. The first answer must be what? Panic. There's how many letters? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Panic has how many letters? Four. One, two, three, four, five. Panic. So it has to be what? Answer. Answer one. Okay. You see? Let's take a look now and go back to the crossword puzzle or to the puzzle. See? Okay. Panic. Was it number one? Yes, we got here number one. We, o we already got the letter N right here. You see? Okay. P and then what? A. Okay, sorry. We got P. What? And then A. We already have N here. Panic. And then I. And then C. Panic. Right? Panic. You see, my dear? Panic. Okay. I hope uh, this must be the first answer of what? The across word part. All right. 
MashaAllah. And then let's take a look at the second answer to the down uh, part, to the down part. So here we got what? So loud that you can hear nothing else. So loud that you can hear nothing else. What do you think? So loud that you can hear nothing else. I think it is deafening. Deafening, deafening, deafening. Am I right? Let's see the answers. Okay. Let's see the answers, my dear. Oh, I did it. What would you like to offer me because I got the answer? One cup of coffee or a cake or a, a gift or a present? No, I don't think. I'll give you much more than that when you answer the rest of the other crossword puzzle is in your book, inshallah. Thank you very much. This is what? The deafening. The def deafening, deafening. Not deafening, deafening, okay? It's a short flower, deafening, okay? So here we got deafening. So how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, yes, let's go back to the buzzle. Okay, the buzzle. Oh my God, the buzzle. Okay, okay. Eight, deafening. Eight, what is the number eight? We see eight here. What is the number eight? Right? All right. I don't see eight. I don't see eight. I don't see eight, right? It's two, not eight. It, it is so loud that you can hear. It's two, yes. It's two, not eight. It's two, not eight. Two. Yes, it's two. Right. Where is two now? Where is two, 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 two? Yes, right here. Deafening. D, we already have, we already have, we already have the E. D and then E. And then A, D, D, and then F. D, F, D, F, and then E. And then N, we already got the N. I, N, G. We already got the G. Deafening. Okay. So, deafening, right? Deafening, okay. Uh, let's now go back to uh, the third, the fourth. So attractive or interesting that you do not pay attention, uh, yes, not pay attention to do or notice anything else. So attractive. So attractive or interesting. Which word do you think that can change that definition? Which word do you think can change this definition? So attractive, okay, okay, uh, sorry, sorry. So attractive, so attractive, no, uh, yes. So attractive, so attractive or interesting. Which word do you think can change that definition? I think, let's think. Yes, mesmerizing. Okay, we will stop here today and I want you, inshallah, do question four and six of the down part, inshallah. This is Absalan Ikhwani. I hope you are enjoying this class and this lesson is only for form three students, but form one and form two can really take advantage from it because they get too many crosswords in their books, right? And I hope, inshallah, the next classes, we will do more crosswords and more vocabulary exercises. This is Abdul Salani Khwani once again. I hope you good luck and bright future. Assalamu alaikum. Goodbye.